Before you go, a quick announcement. I've started a Spanish YouTube channel. Democrats desperately need to be able to appeal to Spanish-speaking audiences, so this is me doing my part. To help that channel get going in the algorithm so that we can finally start spreading our progressive message and breaking the conservative stranglehold on Spanish-speaking media, please subscribe and watch a few videos. The link to that channel, called Brian Teller Cohen Espanol, is right here on this screen. And of course, to see more of my content in English, make sure to subscribe to this channel as well. The link is also... Now, why is Brian Tyler Cohen concerned with helping the Democrats? Is he a journalist informing his audience about politics? Or is he an agent of the Democratic Party? I mean, that's basically what he just admitted, right? He's not just commenting. Okay, so he's commenting on politics. He happens to lean left. He happens to vote for a Democrat. But that's his own personal opinion. But when he's talking about the news, he's just talking about the news. Journalism, right? But no, that's not what he's saying. He's saying he's helping the Democrats to appeal to Spanish-speaking people. Think about what that means, right? This, this is saying that he is openly admitting that he is functioning as a marketing arm of the Democratic Party. The very same thing that he will call out Fox News for. And then if he were to see this video, of course, the obvious, you know, just what do we call it? Just just disingenuous rebuttal would be, well, Fox News is a news channel. I'm not a news channel. Right? I'm just giving my opinions. This is not just your opinions. You're literally promoting the Democratic Party. You admitted it. Right? And Fox News may be a news channel, but the really, really disgusting, dishonest people who are the equivalent of you on the right, those are opinion journalists. Where, where, where exactly do you fit in, Brian Tyler Cohen? Right? Because you would argue, oh, I'm just giving my opinions. So you're an opinion journalist. So you're not a news, you don't tell the news, you're giving your opinion, right? So you, you don't hide your bias, right? Just like Tucker doesn't hide his bias. Then you move the goalposts after I point it out and you point out accurately how dishonest Tucker Carlson is or tackle Carlson, um, how overtly dishonest and, and just, I mean, she has no moral compass whatsoever. Sure. I'm not going to disagree with you on that one. So... You and Tucker Carlson are partisan propagandists working for two sides of the duopoly. Him for the Republican Party, you for the Democrats. But Tucker Carlson is more dishonest than you. The nature of your content is very unethical. Right? This is unethical. If you are going to be working for the Democratic Party, then somehow you need to present yourself directly as such, right? But when you come across like you're just giving the news, I'm just giving my opinion or whatever, like Ben Shapiro, like Steven Crowder, right? And then come to find out you're just working for them. I think that's dishonest i think that lacks ethics and i think that's propaganda and i despise propaganda right i would never ever promote a political candidate good luck finding a candidate that i'd even want to promote but if i found a political candidate right now that i thought was the real deal i would and i wanted to help him I would do that separately, right? I would create a such and such fan YouTube channel. Like if I really felt like I wanted to support them, put my own money into promoting that channel and make that channel overtly and specifically a channel designed to help that candidate. I would not be on YouTube presenting 
content where I'm talking about politics, trying to inform my audience, and then leveraging that to promote a particular candidate. How can my audience trust me when they know that I am working to promote a certain party one over the other? How can I ever be honest about that party if I'm promoting that party? Right? To me, even the scenario that I presented, I would have an issue with. On one hand, I have my main channel, I'm talking about the news. And on the other hand, I have another channel where I'm promoting a candidate. So whenever I'm doing a video, when the Democrats do something corrupt, let's say that, assuming that it's a Democratic candidate that I'm promoting on my other channel. So when the Democrats do stuff that's corrupt, how comfortable am I going to be going in on them knowing that I've got this guy who's in that party that I support? That's a conflict of interest. So to me, either I am going to be promoting someone, a politician, a party, or I'm going to be doing news media the way I do it. I think doing both is problematic. And this is the same thing Fox News does. You see Fox News news channel, then you see hosts actively attending Trump events and speaking on stage, endorsing. That's the bullshit that Fox News does. And Brian Tyler Cohen. But again, this country is so infested with propaganda that this guy can overtly, openly admit that he's basically doing propaganda, and I'm pretty sure his audience won't be like, wait a minute, wait, hold on. They won't think anything of it. They'll be like, oh, kudos, doing his part, fighting the fight. I've noticed over time, as I do analysis on you know, news media, especially partisan news media, and... If you watch them long enough, they all admit that they're basically doing propaganda. And this will be a moment like that. You watch a lot of his content. You notice it's very one-sided all the time. You never really see him calling out the Democrats. You see him interviewing Democrat after Democrat after Democrat. And you're just like red flag everywhere. You're like, this guy is a propagandist. And then you keep watching long enough. And then he says something like, Oh, uh, you know, we got to help the Democrats uh, uh, appeal to Spanish voters. Really? Are they paying you to do this? Are you working for this party? So when we watch your content, are we watching your opinion, your honest analysis? Or are we watching basically advertising for a political party? The same way when you watch Fox News, you're basically watching GOP ads. Right? You're watching negative ads on the opposition party, right? Democrats suck or the Biden administration, right? This is the kind of stuff that GOP would pay money for, right, in social media. And then Fox News is providing a lot of that stuff. So negative ads against the opponent. And then, of course, positive stuff for the GOP. Is that what you're watching when you watch Brian Tyler Cohen? Dem Media? Brought to you by the DNC. I think, you know, if, if, he, if he put that on his channel, maybe I could have some respect for him. Right? This is the Brian Tyler Cohen Show. Brought to you by the DNC. Right? That's that way you have some integrity, right? So there's no mistaking because, you know, there's so many people that watch him and just don't have the media literacy to realize what he's really doing, right? He's a straight up access journalist, propagandist, right? So they're sitting there listening to his opinion and, and they're, they're shaping their views based on his content, not realizing they're watching advertisements, this is the same thing you see on Instagram where someone goes online and they say, hey, man, uh, this shampoo is amazing. I love using this shampoo and have their followers be like, oh, wow, that's the shampoo they're using. And they don't put nowhere in their ad. Meanwhile, on the back end, thousands of dollars. How much money is a Democrat, the Democrats paying Brian Tyler Cohen? That's what I want to know.
American media lacks any integrity whatsoever. Brian Tyler Cohen, TYT, Fox News, CNN, MSNBC, Jimmy Dore. The list goes on and on. Ben Shapiro, Stephen Crowder, Tim Pool. No integrity whatsoever. These guys are out here working for these two corrupt parties that are destroying the country, that are have their hands in so much suffering in this country and globally, right? People like Brian Tyler Cohen, Ben Shapiro, all have blood on their hands for pain and suffering that is the result of the duopoly, the Democrats and the Republicans playing their voters for fools, pretending to care, meanwhile, just lining their pockets with cold, hard cash. Corrupt, disgusting. This is America 2023. Brian Tyler Cohen, propagandist extraordinaire. No surprise. This is the Baby Channel, the Baby Comment section below. Click on the like button, subscribe, smash that bell.